Hello friends, this video on Symmetry Part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So this was all about the line symmetry. Let us now talk about the next type of symmetry that is rotational symmetry. So rotational symmetry, what do you think could be rotational symmetry? Something with something related to rotation. Uh, let's look at this colored square. Let's see what happens when we rotate this square. So observe very carefully that here you have four different colors inside the square. So the green color right now is here. What happens when we rotate it by 90 degrees? So when you rotate it by 90 degrees, what do you see? The green color shifted from here to here. So now the green color is here. If you further rotate it by another 90 degrees, that is basically 180 degrees from here. So you further rotate it by 90 degrees, the green color shifts here. So in this case, the green color shifted here. Now it shifted here. And on further rotation of 90 degrees, what happens? The green color shifted here. And finally, again when you rotate it, what, what, what happens? The green color shifts here. And what about these two? If you compare these two squares, you see that both of these are identical. So basically you saw that it was a, a circular phenomenon. So you started from here, you rotated by 90 degree, you found this pattern, another 90 degree, you got this pattern, another 90 degree, this pattern, and finally one more 90 degree to get this pattern back. So what, what do we see out of it? We see that it is possible that with rotation, as you rotate an object, after one complete rotation, that is after rotating it by 360 degree, you tend to get that object back in its original position. For example, let us take this image. Let's say this is a poster in your house. So this is the original position of the image. Now if I rotate it by one complete angle, that is if I rotate it by 360 degree, what happens? This is how I rotate it by 360 degree. So after 360 degree, it comes back to its original position. Right? So it is a normal phenomenon. So this is normal and it happens for all objects that the moment you rotate an object by 360 degree, the object come ba comes back to its original shape, original position. But in its journey from 0 degree to 360 degree, it might come across many different positions like you saw in the square. It came across many different positions in between. But at the end, after 360 degree, it came back to its original position. So in this section of rotational symmetry, we will see that there are certain objects or there are certain shapes which when rotated, even before 360 degree itself, it comes back to its original shape. That means the shape of the object resembles the original shape even before it is rotated by 360 degree. Maybe once you rotate it by 90 degree, it is, uh, it is showing its original shape. Or if you rotate it by 180 degree, it is showing its original shape. So that also happens in some objects. So it is quite hard to believe for you right now. Correct? Because you might feel that if, if I consider this peacock, this peacock will come to its original position only when we rotate it by 360 degree. So it will never come to its original position if I rotate it by 90 degree or by 180 degree. So let us look at this example. So here you have a shape. Like it is just a shape for now. If you want, you can create it on your own. It is like a stick with two small paper uh, flags on the two ends. And now let's say that you have the, this cross resembles that this the, uh, we are going to rotate it about this point. So when we rotate it about this point, what happens? What is the next shape? The moment you rotate it by 90 degrees, what happens? It comes to this shape. So do you think this shape and this shape are like they are similar? No, they are different. So let us now rotate it further by 90 degrees. So if you further rotate it by 90 degree, what do you see? It comes to this shape. 
Now, do you think that this shape and this shape, they resemble each other? Yes. So, this shape and this shape, they are identical. Even though it has not actually come by, even though we have not actually done a complete rotation. So, only with half a rotation, only by rotating by 180 degree itself, we are able to reach a position which resembles the original position. What will happen if we further rotate it by 90 degree? So, on further rotation by 90 degree, it will come back to this position. And when you again rotate it by another 90 degree, then what happens? Then it comes back to the original position. This is where, this is from where you started your journey. So, after one complete rotation, it comes back to its original position. But in between also, once it came back to its original position. So this, some, this, this what happened now is something which is unusual. This doesn't happen with all the objects. This happens only with short, certain shapes and certain objects. And this phenomenon is called rotational symmetry. So because of this concept, because of these behavior of certain objects only, we have this entire concept of rotational symmetry. So only certain objects will possess rotational symmetry where they will come back to their original shape even before we rotate them by 360 degrees. Now, before we discuss more about rotational symmetry, it is important that your basics of rotation are very, very clear. So, when I talk about rotation of an object, an object is always rotated about a fixed point and that point is called the center of rotation. So, let us take example. Let us look at this colored square which we were rotating some time back. So, which is the fixed point about which we are rotating the object. So, the fixed point is this. So, this is the center of rotation because it, we are rotating the entire square about this point. Let us look at a clock. So, if you look at the clock, where, where is the center of rotation? Now, what is rotating in a clock? Do you think that the clock as a whole is rotating? No, only the minutes and hours hands inside the clock is rotating and the position of those hands tell us the time. So, how do the hands rotate? So, if you see, look at it, the hands rotate about this point and this point is called the center. Now, there could be two types of movement in, in, the, in rotation. One is clockwise rotation, the other is anti-clockwise rotation. So, clockwise rotation means same direction as the hands of the clock. Now, if you have ever observed the way the hands of the clock move, somewhat like this, this is how it moves, right? So, if any rotation is happening along the direction, in, in the same direction as the hand of the clock, that is called clockwise. Clockwise means as per the clock, so the same direction. So, anything that is moving in this fashion, so right now it is moving in this direction. So, this direction is clockwise. And anything that is in the opposite direction, somewhat like this. So, here you see how is it moving, it is moving like this. So, this is anti-clockwise. Anti means against. So, against the clock. That is anti-clockwise. So, we will be using these terms clockwise and anti-clockwise very often with rotation. So, you should know what are these. Perfect. The next thing that you should know is angle of rotation. So, the angle of turning during rotation is called angle of rotation. For example, just now I was telling, right, in this case, Initially, the time in the clock was 3 and after the minute hand got rotated by 180 degrees, what happens? The time changed to 330. So, for the time to change from 3 to 330, the minute hand has to rotate by a specific angle and what is that angle? That angle is nothing but 180 degrees. So, this angle is called angle of rotation because this is the angle by which the minute hand turns. So, the angle of turning is called the angle of rotation. Now, these are the very common terminologies related to rotation and we will make use of them as we move ahead with rotational symmetry. So now, 
Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.